Welcome back to the Bulldog Insider. Time for Coach's Corner, brought to you by Bud Light. We're here with Coach Jeff Tedford. A day after the Bulldogs put up 79 points in a rout in their season opener against Idaho. Coach, what's your biggest takeaway from a game like that? Really that we came out and played hard, we was focused uh, in all areas. Offense, defense, special teams all played a role uh, in the win. And so first game is always nice to come out and see the approach that we take and the mindset. And I thought the guys had a good mindset and, and really focused on execution. You always talk about winning the turnover battle. You had two fumble recoveries, five interceptions. You're going to win a lot of games if you have seven turnovers. How were you guys able to do that? Yeah, you know, we put some, it was really team effort, um, put some pressure on the passer and um, made him made him get rid of it early. And then guys were in good position. You know, they had good vision, good eyes and uh, hustled to the ball. Tank Kelly had two interceptions, one that he returned for a touchdown. But I want to ask you about Jaron Bryant. How unusual is that to happen, not just in the same game, but in the same quarter? Yeah, you don't really see that. That I mean, I've never seen that before, you know. So, but it was good, good execution by everyone up front, you know. And, and Jaron just did his job of picking up the ball. But it really all the work was inside. On offense, Marcus McMarion was efficient, 19 of 26 for 207 yards. No turnovers, obviously an important stat. How would you assess his command of the offense last night? He did a really good job. Yeah, I mean, that's that's part of the quarterback's job is to make sure that you put everyone else around you in a position to be successful. And so I thought he managed the game very well. Um, had a few drop balls, missed a deep ball. So there's a lot to improve on, but I thought all in all, he did a really nice job of running the show. When you look at the box score, he connected the most with Keyshawn Johnson, six catches for 118 yards. But Jared Rice got involved, Makaya Quick got involved. Do you plan on using the tight end a little bit more this season based on what you saw from Rice? And also, of course, I want to ask you about Quick and how him being a transfer, he has ingratiated himself into the community and the program so quickly. Yeah, you know, it, uh, the tight end is, is a part of what we do. Um, just happened to, you know, it depends on game plan and what goes on and who's open at the time and things like that, you know. So, um, but it's nice having a dependable guy like him in there. And then uh, Makaya Quick um, has done a great job. You know, he's had, he's been bitten by the injury bug a little bit uh, since he's been here, but it's nice to see him back healthy and contributing to us on offense. With the game out of reach pretty early on, you got Jorge Reyna, a lot of snaps in that game last night. His first throw was a 33-yard touchdown. What did he show you last night to make you feel confident in him as the backup? Yeah, he was calm. He was composed. He did some really good things, uh, both with his legs and, and on that throw. They jumped off sides, which gave us a free play. And uh, he threw a nice ball to Darion Grimm. Uh, but he had, he had command. He had control. He wasn't nervous. He was, um, really did a nice job of going in there and running the show as well. Time for a quick break. We'll have more with Coach Tedford when we come back. <laughs> 